jumped into blue. This is because we are now in the stop idea. What is the stop idea about? As you already know, we are jumping into the topic with the questions you can't escape. So the questions you can't escape in the stop idea are as follows. Number one, why is your idea what the world actually needs? Very important question. Question number two, related to number one, what problem does it solve? We deeply dive into the reasons for an idea to be useful for the world. And there's of course, lots of different reasons why something is useful and has an impact on other people's lives. Number three, what resources do you need to actually create and deliver your idea as a product or service to the people you're serving? Yes, this is the core that we were up to capture in the stop idea. This stop is very much connected to the stop team as well. You have just noticed that as I can see. Everything you are motivated to do, the ideas that are in your head, especially those that keep on coming back, are the ones that are actually striving for being born, being presented, being created, being designed for the world. So how do we do that? What, what is these ingredients? What are those puzzle pieces that we need to put together? It is not an easy task here because when you are the mom or dad of an idea, you're really in love with that idea. You want to create it. You see it in your mind already. You have a very clear picture. And when other people come on board, then your team, new puzzle pieces are being put on the table that shape, maybe even change, that form the way the idea is born because it's a co-creation. It's several minds who ultimately became the mom or dad for that idea. Co-creation means that we are really and deeply putting our skills and competencies together to create a product or service out of an initial idea that one of the team members, as I always call them, idea owners bring in. But those ideas start to have their own life. They become an entity. They have an identity. And this identity is shaped and formed by your team members. And maybe now you have like a small light bulb coming up if you're really shaping an idea together with other people, we deeply have to be aligned with them. And here's where our values come in. All of your team members need to be very aware of their personal values, what's driving them, because these values have a big influence on how you are shaping and creating and designing this idea. If you have done this before, maybe you have a memory of one of the stories that maybe happened to an idea and how these different values have played out in different forms and shapes, in different features of a product. I've spoken to someone just recently who knew exactly what I'm talking about, saying that these values that we are carrying within us come alive through an idea that is shaped into a product and a service. And it is very different depending on who is part of that team, putting the puzzle pieces on the table. If you don't set this up at this point, very much at the beginning, 
to create this foundation that you align with as a one force, as a, a, a team of one instead of five people maybe in your in your team, as a team of one, then you will have a lot of questions that enlarge the complexity of this process of shaping an idea into a product or service together in a team.